Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jen and Christian's with me and basically reached out to other horror YouTubers and asked them, hey, what movie would you like me and Christian to review? And one of the first people we asked was our good buddy JM over at Horrific Nightmares, our good buddy Jason, who we love. And um, I don't know what he picked, so we're gonna take we're gonna let Jason take it away. Hey Frankie, say hello to Jen and Christian. Hi. Yeah. This is going to be their recommendation for the 31 days of horror in October. Frankie smelling meatball machine. Why is he smelling meatball machine? Well, because Frankie's favorite treats are meatballs. Observe what Frankie will do for a meatball. Here's his meatball. Here you go. There's one meatball. Oh, you got it. You got it, Bob. Frankie likes meatballs. His daddy likes meatball machine. Yes. Is that meatball gone? You smell another one, don't you? We have a meatball on the meatball machine. Let's see what Frankie does. <laughs> and this is my recommendation for Jen and Christian for the 31 days of horror in October. Meatball machine. Thank you. And Frankie says, hey, Frankie says, thank you very much. I wanted the meatballs. Poppy! <laughs> so, a meatball machine. Never heard of never, it. I have never heard of this movie before. Never heard of it. So, uh, we'll go watch the movie and then we'll tell you our thoughts. <laughs> Jason, why? Okay, it's wow. It's awesome. This movie is freaking awesome. You gorehounds are going to love this movie and special effects people who appreciate good practical effects. This is fucking this, awesome. This movie, Two directors. Yeah, this is also a remake of one of the director's movies they made in the 90s. Um, this, also called Meatball Machine. This movie is fucking weird and Japanese as shit. What this is... It's a love story. This is a great blend of the two different types of Japanese body horror. In one camp, you got your art, almost art house, tasteful, Tetsuo the Iron Man style Japanese body horror. And then in the other hand, you have your Tokyo Gore Police Yu Yakuza Apocalypse. Fuck it, let's just kill shit for the sake of blood and tits or fun. Kind of, uh, kind of, uh, kind of Japanese body horror movie. This is a good blending of the two. It's a love story. If you want to hear Jen's take on it, it with a dick cannon. But of course. Well, I mean, what love story? You need a good dick in all your love stories. You need a massive, throbbing, hard dick cannon that shoots, that just pulsates and shoots and. On your tits. You know, uh, and this movie does that. Also, here's one thing that will sell this movie to you pretty quickly. There is a scene, it, there is a fight scene in which the main weapon one of the characters use is a person who tried to rape them earlier in the movie, bended them up into a big uh, thing of metal, and uses them as a club and a shield. A and it's also a cautionary tale of man's inhumanity to man and aliens. And parasites. Also probably STDs somewhere in there, which <laughs> we can just add this to the list of movies it follows knocked off somehow. Yeah, this movie, what, what I can say about this movie is you will not be bored by this movie at all. This is, you know, that's my biggest complaint of movies if I get bored. Wasn't bored at all. There's always something cool to look at. There's always some cool death. Uh, the story, you know, you gotta follow. It's about this lonely man, and he like uh, likes a girl that works in another factory, but he doesn't have the gonads to do anything about it. She gets she gets an attempted rape on her. He kind of saves her, and he finds this metal turtle 
looking meat creature alien thing. That has a parasite in it. Yes, and it'll infect everyone else. And then there's just this random scene in the movie where he goes to a porn theater and like this um, prostitute who is a guy in drag wants to jerk him off and then she spits on him. which And beats ew, the shit out of him. That was fine. It was just the spitting on yeah. him. Th yeah. This movie is very Japanese. And so it said go with the flow next time yeah. as you should as one should yeah this is a very very japanese movie so if you're not used to some of Mike's weirder stuff or just really out there japanese cinema this movie's gonna uh, throw you through a loop because it gets weird i can't imagine anyone not liking it though yeah i really dug this yeah, one like, this one was a lot yeah, of fun. Like, i love ja weird ass japanese cinema like this uh, Tetsuo of the Iron Man is one of my favorite movies. Yes. Um, but like, but and, and I can understand some people like it, some movies are a little too weird and out there for them. But then even then, if you're just like you, some good satisfying gore effects, this movie has it. If you enjoy some pretty decent humor, this movie has it. If you just enjoy really weird out there movies, this movie has that. If, if you you're just a sensitive wanna... love story type who's looking for you know that next great love story. If you're the right kind of person, you found it. Yeah, if you if you if you want a weird out there version of Romeo and Juliet, here you go. With a dick cannon. It's Weirdly, dick. this isn't the first time I've seen a version of Romeo and Juliet that has a giant dick cannon in it. You know, you you really need it. In all great love stories, you need a giant dick cannon that's just going to spread goodness all over your tits. Very true. Yeah, yeah. I I really like this movie a lot, Jason. This was fun. I don't know where the hell you found this movie. Yeah, I'm a big buff of weird Japanese cinema. And I had never heard of this thing, so I I'm impressed. Either. But I really this the, the for this was a hell of a great pick. Well, Christian and I had a blast. We're not going go too deep into detail about this one because this is definitely one of those movies you really need to experience it. It's a little out there, it's a little different, it's a little weird, but I feel that's most of the horror community yeah. right there. So I think this will probably be up everybody's alley. It's it's fun, it's gory, it has a love story if you look at it in the right way. It has a cautionary tale of man in humanity to man through the eyes of aliens. Yeah, and, and, and it has a dick cannon. Yeah, and and it also men versus women again. I get that feeling because Probably, yeah. she kills him. There, she there, tries there, to. There, there's so there's so many little, there's little, layers. There's so many layers to this movie and what it's saying about humanity. It really is. You you, you laugh if you want, scoff if you want, booze and ghouls. But this one was a hell of a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if you're like us who had never heard never heard of this one, never heard of this one at all. But I'm so glad Jason recommended to us. Big hugs, J Bear. This one is just awesome. Awesome. I love it. I, I loved it. You loved it. I liked it a lot. It's really Definitely fun. an A plus from Jen's Reviews from the Grade. Thank you so much, Jason, for recommending this to us because this movie was fucking awesome. If you have not seen Meatball Machine, definitely go check it out. And again, Jason, thank you very much. We are going to be adding this one to our collection. It was freaking awesome. Awesome! It's pretty good, yeah. Who's next? The Horror Miser Montigi, and we'll be doing something. I believe I know what it is. Yes! Only I don't think it was Horror Miser Montigi. I think it was... The Ghost. <laughs> I believe Monty has gotten possessed. Me? And so he it's it's Monty, but it's not Monty. But you guys will see tomorrow. So with all that out of the way, booze and ghouls, as always, we thank you for watching. We hope you're enjoying our 31 days of Halloween. Is it over? No. God damn it. No, it's not. I keep asking you and you keep saying that. Because it's never over. Uh, ain't that the truth. So with all that out of the way, boys, booze and ghouls, we hope you've been enjoying this. And if you do enjoy the content of this channel and you haven't hit that subscriber button, please hit that subscriber button because we appreciate every subscriber we get. And with that, we wish you a good day, a good evening, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another one of our 31 Days of Horror. Hope to see you there, guys. Bye. Cheers.